welcome back to Equine Science Talk International. Today we're going to be talking about unusually clever horses. Yes, clever horses are also called innovative. That means they find their own solutions to a problem without copying anyone else. As part of my doctoral thesis, we crowdsourced examples of unusual behaviour in horses by asking people to submit videos and reports. We excluded examples that appeared to be trained, disturbed or copied behaviour, and in the end we had a database of 746 examples of horses showing innovative behaviour as a part of play, making themselves comfortable, reaching food or making each other move. Hmm, I like this video very much because it shows how much we demand of our horses in everyday life. Looking for food is not generally normal behavior for horses. That means this horse must realize that it has to move the ball around for feed to come out and that it then has to follow the paths of the ball to find the feed that has fallen out. In nature, horses don't do this sort of thing because they are already standing in the middle of the salad bowl. That's right. And of course, there are always the escape artists. Here's one, my great Panyayo, who at Christmas was suddenly standing in the garden with his friend Fury. Oh, I thought there was something like that. That's why there are safety bolts on all your gates. In the end, there were 513 cases of horses that opened gates and doors. This is a great example of a horse opening the pole closing off his paddock. Most of the horses opened relatively simple catches, but there were a few that were clever enough to open twist locks, safety catches, sliding doors, and even a key in a lock. This is an example of a horse that managed to open the safety catch on the gate to his paddock. Yes, and there are even cleverer horses too, aren't there? Yes, those are the horses that actually use tools. Up to now, people thought that only humans and apes use tools. That's right. But now researchers are discovering more and more species that use tools. In our database, we found 13 unambiguous examples of horses using tools. And not only in connection with food, but also to communicate. This video is a case in point. This horse was kept in the box for three days because it was sick. And on the third day, the owner came to the stables and the horse threw the halter at her feet to show it wanted to be let out. Overall, however, tool use is very rare in horses. 13 examples over 10 years is not exactly a lot. As we mentioned, Lauren's PhD thesis was all about clever horses. So what did you find? To identify them, we used this tube to see whether they would work out how to operate it by turning the stick so that feed comes out. We tested 16 horses by installing these tubes in their boxes and recording them with video cameras. The horses then had two days to solve the problem. Your Panyayo took part in the experiment, didn't he? It seems he can still do it. How many solved it altogether? Four out of the 16 horses managed it. That's to say they emptied the tube completely, which was the criterion for successfully solving it. And these four horses? Were there things they had in common? Yes, we looked at the character of the horses, and all four were more active. That's to say they moved around more, and they were more persistent in trying to solve the problem, and they didn't give up or get frustrated if they weren't successful right away. Additionally, they were more emotional, which we saw by observing stress hormone levels and laterality, which showed they were more left-sided in both sensory and motor laterality than the unsuccessful horses. Unfortunately, we don't have time here to go into the details of laterality and sidedness. If you are interested in that, check out our videos on why stress makes horses left-sided. But horses don't just show innovation to fulfill their needs, do they? My Panyayo has everything he needs. Yes, your Panyayo is really one of the clever ones and can get bored. Such horses often develop varied and complex innovations and show them over and over. But we also have horses that only develop innovative behavior to deal with something that is missing, such as social partner, free movement or food. These then show a specific innovation just to deal with this particular situation. Then I need to find a way to keep my horses busy. Okay, see you soon on Equine Science Talk International.